Meghan Markle here. Investigative reporting, even if it's unpalatable sometimes, do you, do you still believe it's important? Absolutely I do. I'm mean, a great advocate. I, I mean, I think of all the wonderful journalists we've got in this country and the stories that they've un, uh, uncovered and pursued and relentlessly and thank God for them. But we have, a, we have and had a culture of criminality throughout the tabloid journalism. This is not about public interest, this is about abuse of power. This is about abusing people's liberty and private data in order to, you know, raise um, money. It's a difficult balance though, isn't it? Because we do need a free press. We do, absolutely. But that doesn't mean to say it shouldn't be accountable. Um, and everybody who has huge power is accountable in this country. And, our, and our, a lot of the journalists, senior news editors and in fact publishers are not holding our public uh, uh, politicians and royal family to account, mm. they're holding them to ransom and that's the wrong shift of power. I, I suppose the problem is that, that, that many people will watch this case uh, and see and hear what Harry has to say and say this isn't actually about reform, it's about revenge. Well, I mean, I can't answer for Harry. That's purely a matter for him. But clearly, he's put everything on the line um, here to actually bring this into the public domain, to actually almost replicate what should have happened and still should happen in Leveson part two and the fact that David Cameron um, rode back on the very light touch regulation that was recommended by Lord Justice Leveson and then Theresa May and Matt Hancock as the then culture secretary not known for his integrity actually lied to a um, a select committee at the House of Commons about the fact that Lord Justice Leveson didn't want this part two to go ahead when in fact he did. And that's the level at which they're being held to ransom rather than account. Mm. Yeah, sadly we can't speak to them uh, tonight. But just uh, finally, um, Jackie, you know, when, when the phone hacking scandal first broke, um, the public, I think, understandably and rightfully, were pretty disgusted mm. by it. All these years later, Harry sort of needs public opinion on his side. He needs the public behind him, doesn't he, if he wants to really change what goes on in the British press. Has he got that still, do you think? Do you think you still have that in your campaign? Well, I think you have to look at it through the filter of the, the tabloid press and the people Things who... Things have changed a lot though, haven't they? Well, I, I would dispute that in as much as we don't have a regulator which is independent. And until that stage where the public can have faith that the information they're being given is not being filtered through uh, an agenda by a, a news, uh, by a news editor, or by an owner of a tabloid newspaper, um, which is why what you, you see the information flow from government to the public is being filtered through this skewed bias. And until we can trust what we read in our newspapers, this culture needs to be challenged mm. because nobody else is challenging it, and it is really frightening to challenge tabloid newspapers. They are so powerful, and nobody is holding them to account. But the media is a powerful force. Let's just put the, those legal technicalities to one side. He believes that illegal methods were used to gather information uh, on him. Well, they, and, he well, says, so. and he says, they left him paranoid, 
uh, phobic, depressed, they ruined his relationships. As somebody who was involved by your own admission, yeah. does that leave you with a, a sense of guilt or shame? Well, not really, because we did much worse to his dad, and uh, his dad was <coughs> just dismissed it, oh, those annoying newspaper people, and you know, got over it. So, I mean, Prince Harry's big problem, he's got Prince in his name, so he's offered a castle when he was a teenager, turned it down, and was born in an incredibly privileged position. Uh, there's a small possibility that he might have risen to be head of state of, you know, Canada, Australia, 14 countries. So I think, and we were paying for it, public paid for him. So I think we had every right to, I don't know about listening to his phone calls, but- That was um, illegal. It was, but you know, you could say taking drugs is illegal. So catch, you know, takes a- Two wrongs to don't make on. a right, of course. Yes, but you need someone who's kind of been there to be able to catch people doing that. And that's the balance, isn't it? You've got someone's mental health at stake mm -hmm. possibly as his mother indeed suffered i mean i chased his mother a lot but i mean i chased his mother a lot but i mean i think chased as in well I chased around the world for about five years prince harry's schooldays his former girlfriends his conversations with his mother all were up for discussion as the mirror groups barrister examined past stories which the Prince alleges were sourced using illegal methods, something the mayor denies. He's only got to establish one example of unlawful information gathering. The mirror has to persuade the judge that there wasn't any examples. So on that basis, is he ahead on points? Yes. Each of us gets cast into a specific role, Harry said of his family and the tabloids. In my case, the fickle, the cheap, the underage drinker, the irresponsible drug taker. But he's now cast himself as the champion in the Prince versus the Press, and round two gets underway later today. Well, what was striking, I think, about Prince Harry's appearance here yesterday was his resolve. It was by no means an easy day for him. These were difficult questions, but on the whole, he was calm and control but he was forced to admit that some of the newspaper articles that he claims were the result of phone hacking blagging unlawful activities well they may have been the result of more lawful disgraceful behavior by the red tops but they paid the price big time and in some ways harry is fighting yesterday's war well, he's fighting a war that he and others have actually won. Uh, in the forefront of this disgraceful behavior was the news of the world. It is no more. It will never come back. Uh, I understand on good authority that the fallout from hacking has cost Rupert Murdoch and his organization, he owned the news of the world, a billion pounds. I'll say that again, a billion pounds. It's cost the mirror hundreds of millions. These red top tabloids, which used to be a real force in the land, Sun used to sell 4.2 million, it's now down to 700,000 and falling. The mirror is not any kind of force in the land whatsoever. That kind of red top tabloid journalism is over. It's gone. It barely exists anymore. It doesn't matter. Uh, he's won. And you know, he says British media is at rock bottom. Why would he say that? The kind of media he hates most of all is in deep decline, irreversible decline in my view. The kind of media which Britain should be proud of, though whether he reads it or not is another matter, whether it's the Times, the Financial Times, the Guardian, the Independent, the Economist, my own Spectator, Good Morning Britain, Sky News, BBC News, they're all doing well. They're, they are proud manifestations of the United Kingdom. So I just say I don't really know why this is all about except his general vendetta against the media that he can't get rid of. Oh my goodness, these people are vile. Um, I wasn't gonna uh, record anything of, but I, uh, this is, uh, I retreated this out. Um, this is what I say here. Okay, this is the same thing that I just played. I was like, oh boy, what war? Should the papers be informing the people? I hope the Brits understand that they are at war without knowing they are in one. So the papers were never there to informing them with correct information. They are there 
to help the Brits self-destruct. USA has guns. UK had tabloid. Okay, some misspell here. Oh my goodness. Mm. When I say evil originate over there. Wow. But what about byline? Okay, I know byline is not as big as the rest of the other papers, but byline is the, well, that's the one I am aware of uh, coming from outside of the UK. Um, that sort of bends reporting the proper information oh my lord okay let's go to the next video because i just want to show you guys the videos that's going on because there's a lot of information and i can't keep up so i'm just gonna put the audios just listen to the audios okay it is known that he's run away to america mm -hmm. because of the press so how americans are now looking at the british press but, but it's only fair can I ask Oswald, hello, good afternoon, yes. it's Emily here. The role, um, I'm, a, I'm a royal journalist, and so whenever I report on the royals, their, their whole modus operandi, their whole kind of reason for being is to promote Grand Britain, particularly when they go around the world, to promote us as a, as a, as a country, and indeed, you know, New Zealand, Australia, the countries where they're still head of, head of state. And doesn't Prince Harry saying this undermine their role, that their kind of, you know, soft di diplomatic power that they bring to the role if a member of their own family is saying is being is undermining their role as kind of promoting us as a country regardless of who is in charge in number 10 okay i hear that i understand what she's saying she make perfect sense but when you listen to some of my videos when william went to that wedding some of the things that i've said william did not represent the brits well okay so harry knows what he's talking about the whole royal family uh you know is not really representing the institution the way it was supposed to okay just by that alone that happened what sometime last week okay i specifically raised that question um that topic in one of my videos i don't know if it's out yet but i did raise that but harry knows exactly what he's talking about when trump was in office okay Trump represent the United States as a whole, whether you vote for him or not. But if you're looking from outside, looking in, okay, what do you see about Trump? Okay, you will think it's the entire United States that is so unethical like that. Okay, so this is the same role that I see when I look at the way the institution, the royal family, and some of the politicians that do their thing. I've spoke about them. So heavy is spot on. Okay, and then they trash Harry, the only person with the ethic, the responsibility to take, uh, who take responsibility for his own action, who represent the, the United, uh, United Kingdom very well. And I even brought it up last year during the Invictus game. Okay, almost every country is, is writing up for the, you know, the players and stuff like that with their respective countries. And I specifically raised that. Okay, and one of those Invictus game. Go look around in PYTE around the time of Invictus Netherlands. Okay, I've said it in so many videos during that time. And I was like, nobody was cheering for them. The, with the exception of some individual Brits who traveled to the Netherlands and then who were sharing and uh, cheering for the Brits players and all of that. It was at the end. And I remember it very specifically. Okay, it was at the end, one person, I don't even remember which office this person represent, okay, says something about the players at the end. But during the Invictus, where you should be uh, cheering the players, you know, get them excited and all of that, so they could do a little bit extra than what they could do. Nobody, no, the royal family didn't say anything, no politician said anything. I specifically raised that. So, heavy is 100% correct. Because without this question being raised, way before Harry even went to court, I raised that question. And I raised that. Oh, my Lord. I hear you talking about promoting the royals. The royals are promoted and they were promoted. People across the Commonwealth love the royals. They absolutely love the royals. But at the same time, they've seen a prince that kind of represents the Commonwealth being treated like us Commonwealth people. Mm. Okay. And that is something that they need to look at. Okay, Oswald, thank you for that. I'll just move on because I want- Wow. But anyway, 
this, let's just say this person is talking for himself so just in case all right next one south park hasn't done anything for the last decade and and in order to get itself up in the charts it does something about harry and megan it goes to show you that a lot of people including uh piers morgan and the people at the gb news can only earn their money by doing things like this and he even attacking phil philip schofield well, i'd like to say that uh, in court what he he said about uh, the criticism of, of the government is absolutely correct how many times have lbc listeners heard nick ferrari or other commentators say oh by the way um the uh, secretary of state for the national service has written a column in this newspaper or that newspaper or um secretary of state state for education has written a column in this newspaper or that newspaper and oh by the way uh, michael goes ex miss uh, wife writes columns in the daily mail or this paper or that newspaper the relationship between politicians and the tabloids is the reason why politicians do not want to regulate the press simply because in order for them to have access to write columns they have to play nice well i think quite often they'll they'll not welcome all the coverage they get but just on your on your point about what he had to say about the government being rock bottom i mean that would be considered if he was still a sort of full-time if i can put it this way member of the royal family that would be considered a breach of royal protocol it would be indelicate it would b breach the constitutional settlement we have where we have an unelected head of state with a line of succession that leads up to him to stay out of politics um so, i mean that's just in, that's not something that buckingham palace yeah, but, would welcome but, but that's a different is, story why, isn't it? why why are you making this point because you said he stepped out of, of the royal family of of the of, of royal duty so so what the point you've just made makes absolute no, no you, sense you, you, whatsoever you, you brought it up and i was asking you about it i was well, setting it in context well exa exactly <laughs> he's he's out of the, he's out of the family yes in all intents and purposes so he can say he can make the criticism he wants to make he, he wants to make all right so let's go to the next tweet okay there's a lot of information videos out i cannot go over all of them so this is Piers morgan uh, Piers Morgan conspiracy theory, let me pause it, um, theory about Princess Diana's death is interesting. Piers indirectly accused the UK establishment of racism and prejudice. Okay, 39 seconds. Oops. It's weird that at a time when you know the establishment can think of nothing worse than Dodi Fayed, son of Mohammed, marrying and possibly impregnating Diana that she's conducting a major international offensive against landmines with all the crippling economic problems that would bring for the British establishment again. And, the British and, and America. And America. But if you add all these to the mix, then if you were ever going to do something dodgy to Diana, that's the time you would do it. She'd become trouble, as she used to say to me. I'm trouble to them. I won't go away. I won't go quiet. It's weird. Oh my God. When I mean, the thing that they so focus on. Oh my God, when I say evil originate over there, why am I being proved all the time? They're worrying about Princess Diana being pregnant with someone else. And Harry said it. Harry said it. Oh my God. Okay, let's read some of the questions. I didn't want to go too deep into this. I wondered if he could be asked to explain what he meant by that statement. Someone need to ask him and show him the video. Well, it may be the one time he didn't lie. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's more comment, but I just want to share with you videos only that I came across. Okay, this is a minute and three seconds. It says, the, near the nearest we came to knockout was Prince Harry. Lawyers and privacy expert Mark Locks uses boxing to explain going on in the courtroom as the Duke gave evidence in the Mirror Group phone hacking trial. Okay, so a minute and three seconds. Um, Mark, first of all, um, just briskly, your assessment of how you think Harry did. I think if we're using a sort of a boxing analogy, uh, I think the Mirror Group newspapers, KC, <clears throat> landed some bruising punches but there was no knockout and in fact the nearest we came to a knockout was prince harry uh, against the qc 
So he um, said, what was the suspicions, which was a sort of constant refrain today. And essentially he said, well, this information is about my flights and that information is essentially classified, it's secret because obviously it carries with it a, a, a security protection risk. And so that the KC really looked uncomfortable and unhappy about it and he didn't have a sort of quick riposte yeah. to that. So I think that it, uh, was the nearest that we came today to any kind of knockout. Wow. Okay. Um, today, uh, which is June 7, 2023, I was looking for the thread, uh, I think one of the pe people I follow on Twitter to uh, follow what was going on on um, uh, in court. I can't find anything until recently, but I posted already on my community board. So please check my community board. I've posted a lot of information for you guys. Okay. So right now, because there are so many tweets, lots of tweets. So I decided to, in this video, to gather all the video clips. To share with you i wasn't even gonna talk i was gonna put a blank screen and share the things with you just for you to listen but uh it seemed like i need to comment it on it because a lot of things is being said okay so ne the next video here quote prince harry wins you have the world media before you in court and everything will be reported regardless of the result in court and enforcing the british press to air its dirty laundry does prince harry win anyway I I didn't listen to this, but it gave me the sense of the, uh, how do you call this? We, I was having some sort of a conversation with someone in the comment section in one of my videos where I, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I think I said it's 50-50 chance when you have one judge who's looking, um, who will decide about this. Um, I think she said something about me praying and all of that. I mean, we have to understand we all are human because i have seen uh examples prior to some of human errors okay there's so much we could uh, control and there's so much we cannot so when usually when i throw my prayers if you ask me i'm not really a deep religion person if some of you just happen to stumble on my uh channel and you see me throw prayers at the end of some of my videos if you think i'm uh, that you know one of those hardcore religion i could tell you any verse in the bible that's not me okay but i i am catholic and uh i should be practicing my religion a bit more but so far i have no problem the way that i've been practicing it because our eyes cannot see certain things so we have to put our trust into the universe god whichever uh religion you you practice okay so sometimes when i have my doubt i throw my prayers to where i have my doubt okay so god could take care of that okay and i truly believe in god and he has done many things for me where i cannot even explain so hey it's been working why changed it okay so um that's all i could say it's not like i have doubt with my religion but i give example as the johnny depp case for instance i'm shifting off a little bit i gave the johnny depp case example where one judge had to decide the faith of the outcome of the trial johnny depp i follow the thing very well johnny depp won the case all right with some of that position from the witness okay she lied she did all sort of things but guess what the judge gave uh, gave it to the papers so this is where my doubt was coming from okay i don't know i thought johnny depp would have won but it didn't go that way so we know the power uh the powerful force that heavy said the paper have but i'm hoping the lord is more powerful to overcome this nonsense that's going on in, in the uk all right so Let's leave it as that because I'm already 20 something minutes. Let's listen to this uh, video. It's two minutes, well, three minutes, 2.59. All right, let's listen. I might have said something in between, I don't know. Harry is clearly motivated as much by having this stuff aired in court. He took mm -hmm. enormous delight in suggesting that Piers Morgan had pursued a vendetta against him and his wife, Megan, because of the allegations he was putting in this court case. And he suggests that, uh, that Morgan listened in on his uh, mother's uh, voicemail messages and his mother of course being princess diana so in some ways harry getting to air this stuff i i get the feeling it's as much part of the purpose for him 
as any sort of judgment at the end of it all and damages at the end of it all. And that Okay, so this is another perspective of that as well. Heavy I mean many times when he was younger he said he would like to have a column to say his side of the story. Unfortunately, um every single story was complete lies, which is rarely well which it always is basically which is a shame but if you ever wanted to do a column in the newspaper but i'd know. love to do a column in the newspaper you know article right this is what happened last night no this is what happened <laughs> last time so he's been balloting up a lot of things hurtful things that were being done to him so him going to court he wanted to release some of this stuff so as far as i'm concerned heavy pretty much did what he wanted to do in the first place whether or not he went there's one video where i said there's different branches of things if for instance the judge decided not to let heavy um proceed with his case but guess what uh, uh maybe the others they let them proceed they could easily call heavy to um as a witness for the other ones i don't know maybe okay so if the thing doesn't uh if they win or lose or whatever heavy will not be part of whatever incentive that needs to be paid all right so there's a lot of different branches when i say certain things it's not one thing and usually it's hard for me to branch out everything that popped up in my mind to explain to you in full details when i'm trying to squeeze a video into one hour but i try my best to explain my perspective and this is why the comment section is open and we continue the discussion where i probably don't say something properly or whatever but that was a nice little discussion in the comment section when the person said that but anyway did i respond okay let's continue that's the thing because so far there's only ever been one full civil trial in all of these phone hacking cases thousands of claims only one and that was uh, back in 2015 against the mirror uh rupert murdoch's news uk has always avoided a trial harry's trying to push them there and so all of this is about yes, all think. of this is really about harry trying to get the stuff aired in public rather than that's it that's the point that's the point yeah but on that other video whatever i was saying the 50 50 things is you know if it goes to trial and uh, am i i mean there's so many angles when you go to court and all of that you leave your the faith into certain somebody's hand so heavy since he was young he's been holding some of this stuff okay so he wants to pursue it now that he's an adult he knows what he could do and you see the extent that they went to prevent him from uh getting there there's a tweet that i came across where uh maybe in one of those tweet videos i'll share it with you um where they said uh the father held it um uh, Oh my God. Oh shit. I just realized something. Oh my Lord. They are truly baggage for God. They are truly baggage for God. Let's continue listening to I just realized this right now. Wow. I'll, I'll look for the tweet that mentioned what I was making reference to. Oh, my Lord. Than just taking a settlement on the steps of the court. So I guess that's the point, right? That Harry is not somebody who's looking for money or yeah. a settlement or a payout. If he wants all this stuff to come out, can the Mirror ever win this one on technicalities? Uh, the Mirror can win it on several grounds it could win on the fact that harry waited too long to file his legal claim which is there's the part the father held him from pursuing it okay they held him as far back as possible because the time of limitation and all of that oh my lord this is this guy is toxic oh my lord but let's listen a technical point but a pretty important one in all of this and it could convince the judge that on the balance of probabilities harry hasn't got the goods to suggest that he was the victim of widespread phone hacking the, the mirror has accepted on one minor occasion that it did use a private investigator for illegal means to to contact uh, people around harry but basically uh, there's two grounds it could be timed out or it could be no no sufficient evidence that harry was the victim of illegal acts by the mirror well the part where they admitted that probably is a point for harry right there if the paper have admitted this part 
where which Harry is accusing them of. What makes you think they're not going to do uh, other things to Harry? Huh? Other things that Harry had uh, accused them of. And the paper admit to one. And don't forget the other part too. The brother have accepted the money. Okay? Accepted money to not sue them. And then I'm assuming, this is purely my humble opinion, there's a possibility there was uh, some sort of uh, incentive or speculation, uh, st uh, stipulation, not speculation, stipulation, where maybe they give the brother, humble opinion, an extra amount to make sure to hold heavy, don't let heavy go forward with that. Alright, so this is my humble opinion here. But it did not go through. So, mm, let's continue. Uh, this is all quite in the weeds, but as I say, um, really the reputational damage is being done to the mirror. Mm -hmm. It's uh, existing journalists and editors who still work for the company are being dragged into this. Yep. Um, and, you know, as a, as a corporate, it is struggling in the wider current newspaper industry and being dragged down by the costs of dealing with these claims of things that happened 20 years ago in most cases. And there's the other thing uh, where they're dragging the, the, the journalists down with them because that made me realize of Omid. Okay, Omid decided to go a different route and don't follow this type of uh, ethical pract unethical practices. Uh, and there's a tweet that I came across. I think I posted on my community board. One of those papers already is being advertised to be sold or something like that. All right, so let's continue. Look at the screen. I probably will uh, have put the screenshot of that. I'm really struck by what you said, Jim, because it seems to me that what you could easily extrapolate from this is that the mirror group win the legal case and they are not found to have hacked prince harry's phones in the way that has been alleged but harry wins because as you describe you have got the world's media right before you and you have got freedom to say whatever you like mm -hmm. in court because of the privilege of court reporting and everything will get reported around the world so harry is able to point point his finger most decisively at the mirror and other tabloids and the mirror might just walk free without any fine as a result of it that's probably that that's that but heavy get the whole entire world to listen to what they've done to him because throughout his life the whole world have been hearing all those negative things about him yep and i think that's all i have in terms of videos um let's see here i may not come back to them again okay so this is a tweet let's see let me get it out the way so i don't come back to it because i have tons more okay the more i learn about this case the more i'm realizing that william's hatred for megan wasn't the only reason he sent jason to help the daily fell defeat her case he also did it because those tabloid barons are his closest allies and any attack on them is an attack on him <laughs> Wow, I, it's almost some of the things that I just said here. Knopf was called as a witness by both sides, so Megan's lawyers also wanted him there. No, 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 no. The Megan's lawyer specific said she, he was not required to put out any statement. They didn't call him. He, okay, how do you call this? He volunteered. Okay, guess they didn't know the truth or expected him to lie. <laughs> That's false. Ted Variety said in his sworn witness statement that Knopf reached out to him. There it is. All right, I have the clip here. I'll insert it here. You just explained. What was the significance in the witness statement from Ed Verity, better known as Ted Verity? Ted Verity, the editor of the Mail on Sunday, said in his signed witness statement that um, he had been given information that helped support Associated's case. He said this information came from a senior palace source and he said in his witness statement this was, quote, not gossip or tittle-tattle. What does that mean? What it means is that a senior figure in the royal household, according to Mel on Sunday, was passing him information uh, in order to help defeat the Duchess's case. Okay, I think the tabloid have massive dirt on we on wheels. Okay, on weasel. Okay, I think the tabloid have massive dirt on weasel, which is why he dropped his court case for a bribe, and why he defend them now. They have massive dirt on all the royals. That's why Harry would spare. He frees himself from those chains. Yep, 
Okay, they must have heard dirt on him. He was somewhat anti-press at one point. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, uh, I think it's one of the videos that I did where I said around 2001, where they were, uh, I said, indoctrinate him into uh, being in bed with the tabloid and all of that. And then there was another part in 2003 where the disagreement between him and Harry started. So... Yeah, I think they were trying to indoctrinate him to influence Harry, okay, to have a different mindset. But Harry, none of, none of their BS was penetrating Harry. And then we got to here. Okay, that was, that was obvious to me since the beginning. As all mafia, all lobbying groups, you obey, you obey to the rules and work accordingly or you are ousted and vilified. We need to realize that. It takes an incredible guts to be an outsider. The advantage Prince Harry has now is that the world is watching, I think. Where is it? Yep, the world is watching. Otherwise, the judge shows signs of not being neutral. The elite works together in general. That's it. That's it. I always said it. I have that thing. The world is watching. May the judge have uh, enlightened minds, uphold righteousness and truth. That's what we're praying for. Remember, when you go to court, it's 50-50. 50-50. And guess what? Charles have nothing to worry about. Why? <laughs> the only, uh, he can't be touched. He cannot be prosecuted. Nothing. Look at the bag of money he was carrying. Where did that go? The police find nothing. Okay? So he is untouchable. But the only thing is, he is being disgraced around the world. That's all. Okay? That thing he was hiding behind the facade, it's out. They know, now they truly know that he is of a king. Okay? That's all. For you to go to that extent to destroy your own son. For what? I don't know. I really don't know. Alright? Let's go to the next tweet. Okay, I'm trying to get rid of these and then that'll be it. I won't come back to them. Okay, Prince Harry, Peace Morgan is a piece of, there's the word, who hounded my mom, now hounded my wife and I, paraphrase, uh, me to Prince Morgan. Let's see here. Peace Morgan, I mean. Two seconds. You shouldn't have been talking shit. <laughs> you shouldn't have been talking shit. Daddy. You shouldn't have been talking shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> The squad, the squad have all sort of things. Where do they know this clip existed to put it? You shouldn't be. That's exactly that. I mean, Tina and Michelle had that from the get go. Do not like leave Megan alone. That's it. Okay, quote. Cool. What I complain of here is illegal or unlawful, and that is something which I feel incredibly strongly about, as my duty to stand up to things which are wrong, and the public or people without the same resources should not have to accept or undergo. Okay, so that's the thing that he, uh, Harry said that. Is that from byline? Yeah, that's from byline. All right, so let's go to my last one. I, I have a lot to share with you, and I'm glad I'm done with this uh set that i have okay oh there's the thing here breaking the daily and sunday telegraph and the spectator magazine are to be put up for sale due to debt or by its parent group okay so while uh, castracizing the poor for not being able to live within their partly means these billionaires racked up billions of dollars in debt okay you mean to say publishing camilla tomney lies and paying her a salary hasn't made return hmm. let's hope someone with a moral compass buys it okay the beginning god is good no i hope nobody buys it where they have to shut it down okay so that's that here all right so that's it the next thing that i will do will probably i leave it for tomorrow so i got this set of group of videos out of the way so let me quickly put it together for you and hopefully i could make it public today So that said, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. All right. So there's this about Invictus. There's Harry doing his thing. This is Harry's baby here. 
speaking positively, uh, representing the UK the right way. All right, look at these guys out there, nice sunny days. All right, but the other ones are worrying about counting monies and uh, who they're gonna backstab and all of this. But there's Harry letting these guys go and enjoy themselves, be competitive. All right, so that's it. <laughs> It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. decisions that I ever made. You will be continually amazed how life changes for the better.